In general, I really love the autofocus system on my R5. And in fact, I think it's the best autofocus system in any camera I have ever owned. Contrary to DSLRs, you have an autofocus area that is almost covering the entire image. So you can place your autofocus point wherever you want. Obviously, the eye autofocus is amazing for tracking birds and even many mammals. And it also worked on some bugs and dragonflies and so on. And last but not least, you don't have a problem with back or front focus anymore as we had sometimes with DSLRs. But I still need to say there is one thing about the other focus of this camera and it's not only affecting the R5s, it's affecting basically every mirrorless camera on the market that is driving me mad sometimes and actually has caused me to miss a couple of shots. Um, but there is a workaround how you can at least avoid this in some situations and this is what this video is about, so stay tuned. <sighs> The problem I'm talking about is mostly occurring when we're taking pictures with big telephoto lenses, especially fast telephoto lenses, let's say like the 600mm f4 or the 400-2.8 and so on that have the capacity to really blur the background. And background is an important word here. The problem, to put it in a nutshell, is basically if the autofocus is on the background and we want to focus on a small bird or a perch that is in the uh, foreground, a butterfly, whatever, the camera does not seem to find this, this layer at all. It does not even try to focus. And this is completely different than it used to be with DSLRs, where the camera was trying to hunt at least for the focus and this is really frustrating because you cannot do much. You, you press the shutter or the AF on button, whichever is uh, set up for autofocus on your camera, and the camera is just doing nothing. So what can you do about that? And I hope this clip helps a bit to visualize the problem. So as you can see, the focus is on the background. I'm trying to focus on this small leaf in the foreground. It's not picking it up. When I switch to my 5D Mark IV, it's immediately picking it up. Personally, I found two ways of how I can deal with this problem and one of them is only working with certain super telephoto lenses So I'll keep that for a bit later and I will start with the method that works with all lenses and this is basically just manually uh, Throwing the focus a bit to the foreground It doesn't need to have to be super close or precise on the perch or on the bird that is sitting there but just a bit in the ballpark and if it's closer to the foreground where it should focus than on the background, the camera will in most cases pick it up. And this doesn't cost you much time. I mean, usually if I'm taking pictures, my hand is resting here anyway in this region. So quickly going to the focus ring, throwing it like this, it's a super easy movement. And by this you basically avoided the problem. And depending on which lens and camera combination you have, this might only work if you use the back button autofocus, but this is really camera specific, so unfortunately I cannot help you here. The second method I want to show you is called the focus preset, and again, this is just working with some of the lenses. Um, basically, you have the focus preset that I put on, on here, and then I will manually focus more or less on the branch where I expect the bird to be. I press set. And then it's kind of remembering this distance and every time I turn this little knob here by a bit it will just jump right back to the perch where you have to focus and you might already realize this works best in situations where you have a perch and the bird is always coming back to the same perch or you expect the bird always to appear in the same kind of distance so it can also be useful for some kind of flight shots but that's maybe for another video. Whereas if you just walk around, suddenly see a bird close to and the focus is not grabbing, there the only option you have is really manually just throw the focus a bit closer and then you should be fine. One last comment slash tip, and this even holds true for DSLRs, if you expect the bird to appear at a certain place, let's say it's going always to the same perch, then I would anyway highly recommend to already pre-focus on this branch so that when the bird appears, the camera just has to adjust the focus by a tiny bit and that way you will be way quicker. 
I hope this video has been useful for you and that in the future you will miss less shots because of this problem that exists in basically all mirrorless cameras. If you found another workaround just let me know in the comments otherwise please like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye!